So I am at a home site that I would consider one of the most beautiful places in Auburn. Now, sure, it's a little unkept with some of the weeds and everything that are coming up in here. But oh man, look at this canopy. Look at these beautiful trees. Gotta love it. So no doubt, this is a little messy. That's nothing that some weed eating and some herbicide can't take care of. In the meantime, you're not cutting grass. You're not putting chemicals on this grass other than to kill some stuff. But we're talking pre-emergent herbicide, post-emergent herbicide, lots of nitrogen, which is all going to run off into the creek and, and then do damage to other places. Um, you have a place where, because of the leaves that are on the ground, it's going to absorb a lot of the water and it's not going to all go into the drain and then cause massive flooding downstream because the water's running off versus soaking into the ground but if you look at the way this has been constructed it's been nestled into nature um and i think the way modern construction is now if if people saw these ravines they'd be like oh we must flatten this we must put pipes in here we must make a yard with lots and lots of grass y'all this it, it you don't have to have that you really don't. Um, let me take you around back here. Like if you're a kid, think think about this from the, the sense of adventure being a kid. Um, if you have a postage stamp of grass, uh, yeah, you can play football, but man, like if this were cleaned up, you can come out here, we're talking tire swing, we're talking about adventures, in the ditch, I know that sounds weird, but tr it, but this is a fun site. When a storm comes, you're gonna see water running through here. There's so much more beauty to be appreciated in a place like this. And I know it, it's, it's a little bit unkept, but there's so much beauty here. Um, if I stand right there, it's so hot, um, but I'm here in the shade underneath these trees, and this is just amazing. Um, another principle I say is, what does your landscape sound like? I hear birds all over the place, uh, just tweeting away. There's so much life and nature in here. If we bulldozed all these trees and planted grass, there is no life, there is no nature. You're killing the bugs in the grass. You're, you're, you're creating so much more maintenance for yourself. And I, again, I know there's a lot of weeds out here. But nothing's happened to this place in probably like 10 years. So the weeds are easy to deal with, but this is an absolutely gorgeous home site. And um, I just encourage people, save your trees, work with the land that's there. Don't feel like you have to bulldoze everything and make it all flat. It's gonna be okay. It's been done in the past. This house is, golly, probably 50 years old. It's still here, it's still going strong. It's okay if you see a puddle in your yard. Um, it, it, it's not gonna be the end of the world. So um, anyway, I just had to highlight this place because I love this landscape. Needs a haircut, needs to be picked up a little bit, but this is unbelievably beautiful.